Confident and stylish, who can ever forget Wesley Snipes? Rising to fame in the 80s and 90s, he brought energy and excitement to every performance. Throughout his career, he has dominated the action genre with his commanding stage presence and talent in martial arts. However, Snipes is more than just an action hero with a slew of fantastic roles under his belt. Determined to be a performer since his childhood in the South Bronx, he certainly left his mark on movie history. Today, we're taking a look at the top 10 Wesley Snipes movies of all time. Hey! Hey in there! Bring your asses out here, I want to make a complaint! Number 10, Rising Sun. Somebody. Listen! <laughs> Based on the novel of the same name by esteemed author Michael Crichton, Rising Sun is a buddy cop crime drama set in the seductive city of Los Angeles. Wesley Snipes and Sean Connery play Webster Smith and John Connor, two police detectives who find themselves entrenched in a perplexing case of murder. In the film, a female escort named Cheryl is found dead at a gala event for the Japanese Nakamoto Business Group. What starts as an open and shut case quickly spirals into a deeper conspiracy, sending our pair of detectives on a thrilling investigation. Snipes delivers a great performance, and his chemistry with Sean Connery is exceptional, which adds a lot to the overall film. Although Rising Sun received mixed reviews from critics, the movie raked in $100 million globally, making it a sizable success. Ultimately, Rising Sun was a decent adaptation that was further elevated by the performances of its two talented stars. Look, senpai, apple pie, whatever it is you want me to call you, we have a murder here. I want to solve it. I don't want to hear true confessions, all right? Number 9, U.S. Marshals. Full of intrigue, espionage, and action, U.S. Marshals is a crime thriller that sees Wesley Snipes playing an elusive criminal mastermind. As a spin-off of the 1993 film, The Fugitive, the movie sees Tommy Lee Jones reprising his role as Samuel Gerard, a U.S. Marshal who will stop at nothing to hunt down his target. Snipes provides a commendable amount of intensity in the role of Mark Sheridan, a highly intelligent and resourceful villain. Between the cat and mouse chase between Samuel and Sheridan and the explosive scenes of action, U.S. Marshals is a fun flick that packs a punch. While Snipes had no issues performing fight sequences and other stunts for the film, there were a few scenes that presented problems for him. These scenes involved moments where he would have to act while submerged in the water, which might not sound all that difficult. However, you might be surprised to learn that despite his notable athleticism, Snipes is unable to swim. Luckily, he was able to conquer these obstacles and provide a memorable performance. Okay, right. Let's go! Let's get it. Pick him up! Pick it up! Pick it up! I got it! I got it. Number eight. Brooklyn's finest. Hit what? Throw some balls. Blink, motherfucker. Blink, blink, blink. <laughs> Spinning a tale of corruption and chaos in the streets of New York City, this movie is packed with suspense and action. A dramatic crime thriller directed by Antoine Fuqua, Brooklyn's Finest was produced during a time when Wesley Snipes was facing imminent arrest for tax fraud in real life. The movie tells the story of three Brooklyn police officers, Sal, Eddie, and Tango, each down on their luck and looking for a break. To break free of his desk job, Tango, who is played by Don Cheadle, must betray Kaz, a drug dealer played by Snipes. While Snipes only appears in the movie for a brief scene, his suave and confident demeanor shines through in the role. Despite this, it was a treat to see Snipes on the big screen again, as this was his first theatrical film after a five-year hiatus between 2004 and 2009. See, that way we can make sure you get everything you ask for, and we get the same, and I get the chance to test drive your shit. Number 7, New Jack City. So since you interrupted my game, get the fuck out. You ain't even got to be. <laughs> this 1991 crime flick was the directorial debut for Mario Van Peebles and paints a bleak picture of crime on the streets of New York City during the crack cocaine epidemic. Despite its heavy subject matter, New Jack City delivers an entertaining tale of criminal justice. In the film, Snipes plays Nino Brown, a crack-slinging gang leader who quickly rises to power in New York City. To take down Nino and topple his stranglehold on the city, undercover cop Scotty Appleton attempts to infiltrate his gang and stop the flow of drugs for good. In New Jack City, Snipes once again proves his ability to play a layered and nuanced villain. Acting opposite of Ice-T, Snipes brings his A-game, stealing the show along the way. Audiences and critics agreed on the strength of Snipes' acting, which garnered him several award nominations for the role. Cancel that bitch. I'll buy it Number 6, Blade 2. <laughs> Directed by the immensely talented Guillermo del Toro, Blade 2 is a sequel with some bite, continuing the adventures of the vampire hunter, Blade. 
full of martial arts action and comic book flair, it's one of Snipes' most entertaining and explosive films. Set two years after the events of the first movie, Blade II sees Snipes fighting a new breed of blood-sucking terror, the Reapers. To defeat them and bring balance back to the world of vampires, Blade must team up with some old enemies and take the fight to the Reapers. Blade II was adored by fans during its initial release and has since become the most profitable film in the Blade series. Snipes also has a soft spot for the sequel, admitting that it was his favorite of the three Blade films to work on. Either way, he was making comic book movies long before it was the popular thing to do. Number 5. Demolition Man Well, I happen to wave for this. Released in 1991, the sci-fi action classic stars Sylvester Stallone as John Spartan, a gritty detective trying to catch a dangerous criminal in a sterilized, dystopian future world. While the crime rate has been reduced across the globe, a violent criminal named Simon Phoenix threatens the peace. With plenty of gusto and style, Snipes brings an infectious energy to the role of Simon Phoenix. As Phoenix raises hell around the city, only John Spartan can stop him, resulting in an action-packed roller coaster of entertainment. Often viewed as one of the defining action films of the early 1990s, Demolition Man further solidified Snipes' abilities as an action star. Sylvester Stallone loved working with Snipes, leading the pair to work together in the future on big-budget projects like The Expendables 3. Okay. <laughs> Number 4. The Water Dance <laughs> Use a straw? <laughs> Maybe I'll use your big nappy head. That's what I'll do. Written and directed by Neil Jimenez, The Water Dance recounts a tragic story of loss and redemption based on Jimenez's real life. The partially autobiographical film stars Eric Stoltz, Helen Hunt, and of course, Wesley Snipes. In the film, a writer named Joel Garcia, played by Eric Stoltz, becomes paralyzed from the neck down during a hiking accident. During his recovery and rehabilitation, Joel must balance relationships new and old as he comes to grips with the untimely tragedy. Snipes plays Raymond Hill, another resident in the rehab center that Joel befriends early on. Snipes shows his skills outside the realm of action and crime dramas, delivering comedic and charming dialogue throughout. His emotional and endearing performance is a wonderful addition to the movie and a great change of pace from his usual roles. I hope you trust my drive, because tonight I'm taking you out to eat some crow. You're on, man. Number three, white men can't jump. Me saying that your mother's an astronaut is just another way of saying that you all fucked up. <laughs> as both a sports movie and a buddy comedy, White Men Can't Jump is often regarded as one of the most endearing films about basketball ever made. Starring Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson, the movie follows two street ballers who tried to hustle their way to riches on the courts of Los Angeles. Just by watching the film, you can tell that Snipes and Harrelson had a blast on set. After the pair bonded during the production of the 1986 film, Wildcats, they became great friends and that chemistry is clear in their performances. While Snipes is an extremely accomplished martial artist, his skills on the basketball court required some work. Together, Snipes and Harrelson both spent endless hours running drills and shooting hoops, eventually reaching a level of skill comparable to athletes in third division NCAA basketball. It's pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> Number 2, King of New York. Released in 1990, King of New York was a movie where Wesley Snipes proved his acting chops, leading to a string of success and his rise to prominence in the decade to come. Snipes lends his talents to an already stacked cast, including the likes of Christopher Walken, Lawrence Fishburne, David Caruso, and more. The movie follows Frank White, a crime lord played by Christopher Walken, who is released from prison and sets his sights on reclaiming New York's criminal underground. As Frank's misdeeds begin cropping up around the city, a group of detectives from the NYPD narcotics squad attempt to stop him in his tracks. Snipes gives a powerful performance as Detective Tommy Flanagan, a no-nonsense cop that demands justice. Surprisingly, director Abel Ferreira claims that Snipes was living out of his car during production, proving the actor would not let bad circumstances impact his performance. Our number one pick is Blade. Ten years before Iron Man made superhero movies mainstream, Wesley Snipes starred in Blade, a thrilling action film based on the Marvel comics. In what is undoubtedly his most iconic role of all time, Snipes plays a human-vampire hybrid that protects humanity by hunting down his evil blood-sucking kin. 
donning a set of sunglasses, a sword, and a stylish trench coat, Snipes effortlessly displays his martial arts mastery throughout this action-heavy adventure. Without the actor's ability to pull off impressive stunts and provide a compelling character, comic book movies might not have become as popular as they are today. The role of Blade perfectly captures everything that makes Wesley Snipes an excellent performer. Between the fight scenes, his intimidating look, and the undeniable cool factor, it's hard to see anyone but Snipes as Blade the Vampire Hunter. On Rotten Tomatoes, Blade received an audience rating of 78%, while on IMDb.com, the movie got a decent 7.1 on a scale of 10. <laughs> you agree with our list? Be sure to comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.